Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes E-Class. That generation here from year 2010 to year 2016. This is known as generation W212. If you guys need to find where the transmission cooling pump relay fuse is located, where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time, why it's important to always test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17, guys, this is the W212, guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car, why things do not work, why we're making this one, because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys, where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses, all you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video, one, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work, guys, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So the transmission cooling pump relay fuse, where you can expect to find it guys. We're going to demonstrate on that generation Mercedes E-Class. This is the pre-facelifted model, this is the facelifted model, but it should work for both. You guys have multiple fuse boxes in that car and today we'll be working in just one that's under the hood. Open the hood. On the driver's side we have a fuse box under this cover. Open the cover, you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here is the transmission cooling pump relay fuse. Okay, where you can find it now. If you, by the way, need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price and quick shipping, guys, we're going to put the link in the description of the video below. That way, you do not waste money and time. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Now, if you come right here next to the fuses, you'll find a number that indicates the fuses. That's super easy to find the one that you need and. The fuse for the transmission cooling pump, also known as a relay fuse, is fuse number 25. It's that 15M fuse here. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.